All right. <laughs> All right. What's up, guys? I'm going to do this one really quick because I'm hitting my busy season. I'm going to start teaching at Harvard Westlake this summer in a few days, and so I got to knock this one out fast. So today I just want to show off my Vito 2, Voigtlander Vito 2. I love this camera. It is a beautiful, small folding camera that shoots 35 millimeter film. So what happens, you press that button, the lens folds right out. So this kind of went out of favor and they stopped making cameras like this, but there was a wide range of cameras made like this, including in medium format, six by six, I think six by seven, and I think that even six by nine was made. So what do I love about this camera? So first of all, I love the process of shooting with different cameras and that's the main reason I love this guy. Um, I'll get to the image quality later, but it's so different than anything I'm used to. So first of all, it's a viewfinder, it's basically a hole in the camera and that's how you have to kind of um, frame your image. Second, this is a, it has scale focusing, so you have to zone it. You basically have to gauge how far away your subject is and then just rotate the focus ring. I hope you guys can see that. If not, I'm not editing it out, too bad. But you focus that, you set your distance um, you set your aperture and shutter speed, of course. There's no light meter, so you're going to use Sunny 16 or an external light meter. I use Sunny 16. I'm never, it's never off. I haven't developed the color yet, though, which you need to be a bit more precise when developing or shooting and developing, really. So I can't say how good I am for sure at guessing, but so far I've never been wrong shooting Sunny 16, especially black and white. So Here's the quirk about this camera, like one of the biggest quirks other than what I mentioned, is that the mechanism for cocking the shutter and actually releasing it is, or winding your film, excuse me, is different. So you wind your film up here with this knob, right? But once you do that, you then still have to cock the shutter using this lever here, right there. And so once you cock it, you're ready to go. So when I first shot this camera after a few, it took a few rolls to get used to. I, uh, <laughs> you know, every time you're ready to take the shot and you're like, oh, I forgot to cock the shutter. Um, but after like a few rolls, you get used to it. It's just like comes part of your workflow. Just, you know, you wind it, set your aperture, set your shutter, set your distance, cock the shutter. So here's the thing I liked about this camera. And I just want to show a different camera. It's not about this video. I mean, it's not about this camera for this video, but uh, the Rolly 35, right? Um, you can, you actually have to cock the shutter in order to put the lens back into the camera. But um, the thing is, I don't like that the lens is exposed, right? The cool thing about this camera is that because the lens is completely protected, you can cock the shutter, have everything ready to go, and then just close it. So everything's set. You press these two tabs right here, close close it up and it's uh, ready to shoot as soon as you want to open it up. And here's the interesting thing. Because of its sort of clamshell styling, it actually is more comfortable to slide into my pocket than say the Rolly 35, which is a beautiful camera, but uh, it's square design. It, it just doesn't slide in as well. And I actually think it's really hard to tell here, but it might actually be wider than this guy is, just by a hair. And it's been more comfortable to throw this into my pocket. Just to, if you guys want to see a size comparison, um, yeah, the Voigtlander's pretty big compared to the 35. But, I mean, here we have a comparison to a Pentax 6.7. So this guy is a small camera. Um, so... I'm going to do a full review on this. I also shoot it in a ep future episode of some photography show. Future video will be a full review of this camera, and I'll let you guys know what I think. I'll show you guys a lot of shots from it. The thing I'll say right away is that the lens has a lot of character, and I, I really liked the look of the images. Uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say for now. Um, I guess a lot of people that are watching this are going to want to know, do I think you should get this camera? And if it's going to be your go-to or your only 35 millimeter camera, don't get it. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, you don't want a camera with so many quirks. Unless, I mean, maybe you do. But if you want it as like you're a very competent shooter that's going to make your life easy, this isn't going to make your life easy. It will make your life more interesting. Think of it that way. But as someone who likes to collect different cameras, shoot different cameras, I highly recommend this camera. All right, guys. 
Um, it, if you're new to this channel, I am a professional photographer and photography instructor of about 10 years and what I, I love film and I'm sharing my passion for that and I want to, you know, I want to get in touch with my community so I'm making these videos. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one.